Yes, good afternoon. Good. Um, okay, a very good afternoon and uh, welcome to the pre-match press conference along with uh, head coach Ferrando and Ivan Gonzalez, head of the match between FC Goa and Northeast United FC. Uh, I'm Skitter and I'm stepping in for Shawik today. Um, we'll throw the floor open to questions right away. Please use the raise hand option. Um, you're already familiar with the drill. Uh, we'll take the first two or three questions for Ivan before we move on to the coach. Uh, so if anyone has a question for Ivan. Marcus? Yes, Marcus. Yeah. Hi, Ivana. Belated birthday wishes to you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Ivan. Uh, you know, how, how difficult was it for you to accept the red card in the last game? Uh, I, I understand the first was not a fall and the second was, in, was a harmless touch on the referee. Yeah. So how difficult was it for you to accept the red card? It was so difficult because uh, I came from another league, from Spain, and you can talk with the referee, explain the, the play. Uh, here, maybe sometimes uh, I don't understand the, the, the referee's the decision, but now it's okay. Uh, we have to, to forget the referee, forget the decision and only focus in, in the game. It was difficult for me because for me, I understand every football in, in my way, but now forget the referees, forget the decision and only focus in, in, in the game. Ivan, do you believe uh, FC Goa can still do better than what they have done so far? Uh, because, uh, you know, last two games have been draws, last two games have been red cards also. Do you believe FC Goa can, can do enough to, uh, to qualify for the playoffs? Yes, I hope. I hope we we train every day very hard. Uh, I think in the last three games was uh, three three draws, but I think the the team deserved uh, more. Uh, we play win one less uh, player. Uh, even the last one. Personally, do you believe? Uh, are you happy with the way you have performed uh, before you came to India? Did you expect the same standard? Uh, how do you rate the league and how do you rate your own performance here? Personal performance and yeah. uh, how do you see the ISL? How do you rate the league? Uh, his personal performance before coming to India and how do you rate the ISL? The competition? Uh, I, I feel good. I feel good. Um, the feeling for me is, is good. I feel good in the in, inside the pitch. Uh, uh, first, uh, I think it was very different, but now I'm with the with the ISL. I, I, I'm in a good way, and I feel I feel good in inside the the pitch and with the with my teammates. We'll take questions for the coach uh, from now. Yeah, thank you. Srivatsa, you have you have a question? Yeah. Good afternoon, Srivatsa here from uh, IFTWC. So my question to coach is that uh, last time when FC Goa faced Northeast United, uh, it was a different team with different coach and different tactical style. So currently they are in good form. In last three games, they won the game against the team like uh, Mumbai City FC and ATK Mohan Bagan. So how do you think you will approach this time against them? Now uh, everybody can, uh, can watch the games. The faces of the players uh, are very happy. They are enjoying every game, every minute. Of course, uh, sure, this uh, ambient in this and the atmosphere in a dressing room in Northeast, it's very nice. It's, it's perfect because uh, uh, won the games, won the difficult games. Uh, the players are enjoying. Uh, the players are like free in the pitch. Of course, there are a lot of uh, points in Northeast, positive. And for us, it's very important uh, because uh, it's necessary to control uh, uh, with these emotions, of course. Coach, uh, in last match against uh, East Bengal, due to suspension and uh, other concerns, you have to change the defence and uh, you made up uh, Aiban, Ali Mohamed and uh, Adil into the squad. So, does that made you to change the dynamics and tactics of the team by any sorts in absence of Ivan and Donachi? Yeah. No, uh, at the end, when we are in precision, we work with uh, with everybody. 
repeat, uh, we have uh, 25 players, now 26 in, uh, in our squad. Uh, Ivan's uh, working with uh, James in training sessions, Ivan with Ivan, Ali with James, Ali with uh, Ivan, and uh, Ivan with James. And now, for example, with uh, Adil is the same. We practice in all the season with a different line defense because uh, we know exist injuries, exist uh, red cards. Uh, at the end, we decide the best uh, line defense uh, one day before the game. But um, I'm not so worried, I'm not so scared about the, the last decision because everybody is working. We practice with different options. Ansel, you, you. you had a question? Uh, hi, Coach. Uh, Coach, we've seen that uh, there has been suspensions of late, uh, one player missing every match. match. Uh, how difficult is it to, uh, to you know, uh, you have said that you have, uh, just now you have answered how part of the question by, by saying that you have uh, trained in preseason all throughout. But, you know, game by game, you have a different plan. Uh, but, you know, does it really affect uh, the way you all go into a game when, uh, when you uh, miss a player? Yeah, but uh, this is uh, our job, like uh, like a coaching staff. Uh, we prepare the team for the different plans. Of course, uh, with the red cards, this is the decision of the referees. Sometimes uh, I agree about red cards. Sometimes are strange, but this is the <laughs> decisions of the of the referees. But my my job is to prepare the team with the uh, with uh, when we are eleven, when we are ten, when we are nine, and uh, <laughs> because it's sometimes. Uh, exist injuries or the last minute there is not possible substitutions. Uh, at the end, the most important is the players uh, knows about uh, what happened in defense, what happened in attack, what happened when we are 10 players, what happened when we are nine, because uh, it's not possible to lose energy about the, the referee's decision. But we can work about uh, different plans. This is the most important for me. And of course, I think uh, the players know it's not exist one plan, one way, all the games different plan exists at different plans is necessary to work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Marcus, you have, you have a question? Yeah, Coach, hi. Uh, last two matches, two red cards, two draws. Uh, how worried are you? Okay, for example, in this case, about Kerala, for me, was very strange decisions about the red cards. Okay, but uh, the last, um, for example, in the last game, it's normal to yellow cars. In this case, uh, I agree. But, uh, uh, okay, I'm sad. I'm so sad. I'm very upset because uh, at the end, when you play with uh, 10 players, you are in the same balance with the opponent. And then it's necessary to to, to change the way. It's necessary to... The substitutions maybe is, uh, is different when uh, in different uh, in different mind when you prepare the game one day before. But this is a football, this is the life of the football. It is necessary to, to take your decisions immediately, of course, to take the best decisions. Coach, how difficult will it be uh, with Edu's absence? Uh, uh, Edu has started almost all games except one, and now even Lenny, who was playing with him, is not there. So, how difficult will it be to fill that gap? No, of course, I in, uh, in Edu, you know, it's, it's my captain, he's my leader in the in the uh, in the pits because he knows about a lot. Of, we, we we talk a lot of time with uh, with our style, but uh, okay. In this case, I'm not so scared because uh, we have very good squad, and uh, if it's not ready, Edu, uh, we can use uh, another players. Uh, of course, Princeton, uh, uh, in my opinion, can help the team in this position, and now we have two new players, uh, Amar like a gland. Uh, in this case, I'm not uh, so strained in my mind because uh, I know if uh, Edu is not ready, we have more options, or with Alberto is not ready, or for example, the last week with uh, Ivan was not uh, uh, ready for to help the team. In this case, we have options, and I'm not so scared because uh, immediately uh, we have a new plan. Okay, all the best for the match tomorrow, coach. Thank you so much. Do we have uh, any other? Yeah, Srivatsa, you have a question? Coach, uh, in a uh, winter transfer window, uh, recently Amarjit and uh, Glenn Martins was signed. So what uh, unique factor and qualities do you think they bring into the squad uh, as Lenny Rodriguez has left? 
Okay, I prefer to talk about uh, Amar, for example, because uh, he's a very good player. For me, it uh, has a lot of quality. He wants to play football in uh, in this case. It's the same with Glan. Glan maker, I mean, like Melifel. Uh, about the Len is uh, one decision uh, uh, in my point of view because uh, his target is to play a lot. And uh, and uh, I hope all the best for Lenny in, uh, in ATK to play 90 minutes every game. and. This is the best for him. But now, for me, I'm happy because uh, in, in this transfer uh, with uh, Diraj, with Adil, with uh, now with Amar and uh, Glan, uh, sure, uh, they can help the team. They can uh, help in our style. They can help in our methodology. Uh, they want to fight. They want to win. It's it's very good for us, uh, these uh, four players. Coach, uh, in last five matches, the team just won one match and the uh, other four were drawn. So now FC Goa has uh, six more matches remaining till the league ends tomorrow, including uh, North East United. In the remaining matches, the uh, uh, team will face teams like Mumbai, Chennai, Bengaluru and uh, also Hyderabad. So do you feel any kind of pressure on uh, upcoming fixtures as the table is very compact there? Yeah, 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 but uh, okay, but uh, this is our job. Exist pressure all the time. Yeah, at the end, I think it's good uh, for the uh, Indian uh, league. Uh, more or less, everybody is uh, the difference with the three, four points maximum. Uh, I think it's it's so so good for for us because uh, maybe we uh, we have not relaxed. Every game is uh, every game is it's important. Uh, and our mentality, you know, it's uh, to to get three points, uh, of course. Uh, but I'm not thinking about it's so pressure because maybe it's two teams or three teams behind of us or two or three teams up of us with uh, three points. No, uh, all the time uh, to talk with the players. The most important is our focus is with Goa. Uh, and the rest of the teams, uh, the pen of the rest of the games, it's not important because it's. For us, it's, it's, it's impossible uh, to, to, to change the score. But when play Goa, we can decide about the score, we can decide our style, we can decide our methodology. In this case, uh, put all the energy in, in, in our team. If, if the stress exists all Monday, Thursday, in trainings, of course, uh, in everyday games. Uh, Shivansa, you have one more question, I think, right? Yep. Uh, any injury concerns or a player who will miss the match tomorrow? Yeah, Brandon is uh, his injury. Uh, he's uh, not ready. Yeah, at the end, uh, the rest of the players uh, they are uh, they are in good uh, meant for to to use him in the squad. Coach, good luck for the game. Thank you. Um, Marcus, you had raised your hand earlier. Do, do you have another question? Yeah, yeah. One small question for the coach. Yeah. Coach, you know, do you agree with me that whenever? Uh, Ivan plays with James uh, in defense. Uh, there is more balance to the team. Do you do you see it like that? Yeah, of, but uh, of, of course I'm very happy with uh, Ivan and James. But I'm very happy with uh, uh, sometimes when uh, they are working with uh, with uh, uh, with Ivan or with Ali. For example, the last two games, I'm very happy with uh, Mohamed Ali. But uh, of course uh, I want to explain with with James and and of course Ivan. It's uh, it's good for me because uh, they know about the methodology. They know about the timing when uh, we are meeting. What is the timing to, to pass? When is the timing to play with the second line? Uh, it's it's so easy for me. They help me a lot. Uh, they are like a coach, you know, inside of the pitch. Uh, I hope uh, step and step, uh, Mohamed, Ali, Adil, uh, Ivan, uh, they learn about James and Ivan. And uh, then they by day they understand about uh, our style. Thank you. Do we have any other questions for Coach or Ivan, or can we wrap up? Mm -hmm. Oh yes, Shivatsa, you had one question. Uh, Coach, uh, last game we saw that uh, you started with just four four foreigners. So uh, is it the tactical change, or uh, is it any uh, type of? Uh, for uh, AFC Champions League, any type of uh... ah no, of course when uh, we decide to play with uh, two foreign or four foreign players or uh, maybe or not, uh, 
Uh, no, no. Uh, for us, it's uh, all the time is tactical decisions. We are working for uh, every game, never always thinking in Champions League because, uh, repeat, for, for us, for example, the most important is to for put focus against Northeast. The after Northeast, 100% uh, our focus is against Mumbai. Never. Uh, this is football. And football is not possible to prepare the team for future. In no, 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 no. Uh, step and step, game by game. And of course, uh, all the, the squad, all the first 11 is, is the conclusion or is the result about one uh, tactical plan, no about the for future, maybe. No, no. And future in football, it's no exist. Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined in. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Ivan, and all the best for tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.